Hey there, welcome back to Online Marketing Foundations. We're still in module two, commit to lead an audience. Now, last lesson, we turned to kind of the internal work and we were talking about understanding your core competencies or the core things that you're good at. Here in lesson five, we're continuing the internal work and we're gonna define your core values. These are the things that you believe that can act as kind of a guide for how you run your business. It's internal work and it's incredibly important work. So let's dive in. And as always, we're starting with the truth bomb. And the truth bomb is that if you're not willing to stand for something as a business, it's gonna be hard to stand out. This is something that's relatively new in kind of the history of business, but you know, not in the online world. But back in the 20th century, this wasn't the norm. In the 20th century, most businesses didn't stand for things that they wouldn't have talked about core values. Well, in the 21st century um, and the holistic marketing approach, the idea of actually thinking about how you impact society at large is part of marketing. And so thinking about those things that are core values that your business will stand for is an important part of the work we have to do as marketers. So in this lesson specifically, we're going to talk about what core values are so that you kind of know what they are and then why you should identify and lean into your core values in your business. And, and we'll talk about a couple of different reasons and, and why it's beneficial for you and how it's going to help you to lead it and be a good kind of, you know, uh, person to lead your audience. So that's what we'll be talking about. Let's start by talking about what core values are and core values are basically your North star. Star. They become the things that help you, you know, guide your business and help you make decisions. You know, to put it broadly, your core values are things that guide how you do business, but aren't strictly about business. Now, they can be about business, but they don't have to be. They're the kind of the broader beliefs, the broader values that you bring into how you do business and how you build your business. Another way to think about it is that core values aren't about the underlying service you provide. They are your general approach or they affect your general approach to doing business. So, <clears throat> you know, some of these could be kind of deep social things. P some people will have core values that are about social or political issues, but they don't have to be. It can be something that deep or it can just be something about how you approach business. So, for example, one of my core values is that business should be fun. And this value affects how I approach things. Obviously people who are around me, people who are around my business pick up that I am having fun. And, and part of what I do in business is try to make sure that my business is built in a way so that I can have fun and others around me get to have fun too. So it's kind of a, an example where you can see, look, it's it's not strictly about what I do, right? It's <clears throat> not about the legal stuff or it's not necessarily about helping people build businesses, but it is about how I run my business. And it is something about how, you know, I approach business and building this business that I have. So that's kind of an example of a core value. <clears throat> Now that we've talked about what core values are, let's talk about kind of how they come into play. And the first way they come into play is that they will guide your decisions. Again, I, I kind of preface this on the first point, your core values act like a North Star that guides all the decisions, big and small, in your business. If you think about it, when you have that kind of North Star, the values that you know that that you can say, these are the things I believe to be true. And these are the ways that I want to run my business. Those kind of things become like an anchor that you can always be looking at and always help to guide what you're doing with your business. Like here's some examples. Let's talk about some kind of concrete things. Your core values will show like affect how you and your team show up in your business. So like business should be fun is part of that for me. This is a way, an idea that, that affects how my team and I do the things we do, how we approach each other, how we show up day to day. All of those things kind of are impacted by that value that is part of our core value system in my business. <clears throat> Your core values can also shape the offers you create and those you skip or how you price them or how you put things together. I mean, for example, some people will have core values that say, look, I don't believe in, you know, high ticket offers. Maybe someone says that now I've never heard someone with that type of core value, but maybe there are those people. 
but there are going to be people who are going to make decisions about how they're going to run their business and how they're going to kind of craft offers, how they're going to price things, all of that stuff based upon values that they have within kind of, you know, how they want to run a business. <clears throat> Another way they can show up is, or that they can shape is the community that you build with your audience and how you respond to their concerns. So again, the, the community you build hopefully will kind of be a good indication or not a good indication, but will be a reflection of the values that you have, but you will bring your beliefs about kind of how you're going to, going to respond to things. One example of this, I know plenty of entrepreneurs uh, who have a core value that, that family and time away from business is important for them and their teams. So they set an expectation with customers, for example, that they don't respond after 6, 6 p.m. and they will not respond over the weekends to customer support. They set that expectation because it's part of their core values as a business. Again, you can see how these things just become weaved into everything that a business does. Now, I'll give you another example of a core value and how it impacts business. We created this, you know, badass online marketing university because one of my company's core values is to be a radical giver. And what I mean by this and how this comes in is I'm creating courses and giving them to you for free. And I'm doing that because it lines up with this value that we at my company believe to our core in being a radical giver and that giving is one of the most powerful things we can do to have an impact on the world. And so we, we bring that mentality to things we do and it inspired us to create this very product. Now, it, that's the same core value that helped me, uh, you know, as I'm recording this, almost two years ago, make the decision to give my privacy policy away instead of charging for it. That's a legal template that most of my competitor, um, you know, lawyers who serve entrepreneurs are charging hundreds of dollars for. And I said, nope, I'm going to give it away for free. It's part of the mentality that I bring to building my business. And so you can see kind of how these things like just help me to, to just say, okay, well, how am I going to handle this? Well, I'm going to do it because I want to be a radical giver that helps guide things and helps push me. And oftentimes when I'm asking myself about, you know, kind of how I'm going to handle stuff, I simply go to these values like business should be fun, be a radical giver, all of the things that we believe. And then the decision is made for me. I don't even have to think twice. But just as importantly, your core values help you commit to a path even when things get hard. What I'll tell you is that I often will find challenge in, you know, the decisions that I've made. It can make things hard, but I don't second guess them because I know that the decisions are aligned with the values, with kind of the way I want my business structure based upon those values. So it can help you kind of stay the course, if you will. And another way to look at it is that if something doesn't align with even one of your core values, it's just an automatic no. Again, a lot of people have this value, but one of our values is integrity. So if, if there was, you know, an opportunity to do something that didn't line up with our belief in integrity, we simply say no. But even the business should be fun has become something that leads us to say no. Um, Katie, my integrator will often say to me, she said, we're not doing that because I can see you're not having fun even thinking about it. <laughs> and literally that's the kind of thing where, because we know as a company, how important our values are, it helps us quickly say no to things that are not a good fit. And so that's how they can come into and help you really kind of, you know, not do things you shouldn't be doing and make decisions easily. So that's the first big value and the reason why you want to have them. But just as importantly, core values will help you stand out. They'll help you stand out in a very crowded marketplace. So they're, they're again, part of that building or creating your own blue ocean by living your core values in your business. This happens because people are drawn to people with whom they share common values. In other words, people who want to have fun in business will be drawn to me. People who believe in being a radical giver will be drawn to me. 
So that's kind of a, a simple example, but it's broader than that. When you operate based on your core values, your business will be unique just like you. And it will start to kind of bring on your personality because your core values likely come out of your personality. And so what that'll do is help to draw people in who share those views with you. You know, I like to say that there are countless business coaches, but I attract lots of followers in spite of all the noise. Now, some of it is because of my messaging. Some of it is because of those things, but some of it is simply because they share my core values because they see, you know, how I make business fun. And they're like, I want that, that in my life. They see how I'm a giver and they say, I want that in my life and in my business. And so what happens is I kind of like attract like and people with whom my values resonate are drawn to me. People literally won't realize where, why they are drawn to you, but it will happen. If you live your core values, if you identify them, if you define them, and if you commit to make them an important part of how you run your business, people who kind of are attracted to those and align with those core values will be drawn to you and it will help you to build your business. Defining your core values will help make business decisions easy and help you cultivate your unique audience. If you think about it, it really is a way to help you become a leader because leaders need to be able to make those decisions and stick to them, but also they need to have an audience to lead. And so by using your core values, it kind of necessarily helps to create and generate that audience of people who want to follow you. So take the time to figure out what your business stands for, and you'll be much better off for it. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, you're going to learn about how to truly stand out by defining your unique approach to your business. So core values was about kind of, you know, not necessarily about the, the technical work you do, but the broader stuff. In the next lesson, we're talking about how to really kind of define what's unique about the specific thing that, that you help your customers solve. I'll see you there.